Okay guys, so I'm going to try something that's extremely risky. So, I know from having this colony for a while that they don't like to budge. They've actually been connected to an outworld for a long time and they have never used it. So, instead of waiting even more time to move them in, no, for them to actually move into the nest that I made them, I am actually going to go in and move them because they are very small. There's about a queen and maybe two or three workers and some larvae, so they're very contained. Now, my plan of action is to lay this on its side, um, remove the sides, quickly put this glass magnifier area over the section where they are, get some paper underneath them and hopefully just scoop them up in one swift move. Oh dear, this could go very bad. Okay guys, so I've put the queen and her workers in there. I've seen the queen and two workers. They are now scrambling around trying to find the larvae and the eggs and I feel really bad so I'm going to try to thin this soil out as much as possible so they can find their larvae. Okay, so this is possibly the worst way to move the ants because I feel so bad. They're all looking around for the eggs and larvae. You might be able to see something moving just around here. It's actually carrying like an egg. And the pupa that you always see, which hatches out to the ant, you obviously see it in a microscope. Well, there are three or four of them here. That's how tiny they are. They're literally... I don't even know what to compare them with. They are so tiny. And there is the queen. I'm going to leave them for tonight and I really hope that they move down into this hole and they take everything with them. I've tried to thin this out so it's easier to find any of the eggs and larvae. Most of it's in this centre area. Also I thinned it out so they wouldn't try to nest up here because that would not be good. So I'm going to turn off the light, leave them overnight and hope everything goes well. Okay guys, so yesterday I did a live stream, it was about three hours long it went on for, but it was off the ants nest and it was pretty interesting, a few times the queen was like completely dormant, she did nothing, but overall I saw some interesting behaviour. I woke up this morning though to see that they'd actually moved the queen and the brood under this rock. I did actually notice some of the ants were digging under the rock and moving some of the dirt and I was like, oh do not try to start a nest there. But they already have. Um, you might be able to see the back of the queen here. So they haven't moved into their new home yet. But a good thing about that is it has started to clear. You can't see because there's a reflection right now. But there's hardly any condensation on it now. So that's brilliant. Um, I might direct the nest into the, sort of the tunnel. Okay guys, so it's been five days since I last updated this and a few things have happened. Firstly, the queen and that moved down to the tunnel. I actually slightly encouraged her but she got down there. Then yesterday I found out an ant had escaped. Fortunately it was still on here so I could just scoop it up and put it in. Then I blocked up the tunnel because I knew all the ants were in the tunnel. I blocked it up and I hoovered. Um, inside here with like the little nozzle because there was loads and loads of eco earth and I didn't want them using that as nesting material as they are meant to go into the fire brick. So then I got a USB endoscope. I already had one but to be honest it's really rubbish. I tried to look down the tunnel it was totally out of focus so then I used my USB microscope and all I could see was they'd actually blocked the tunnel with the eco earth. They'd obviously been bringing it down and making it a nest. So I got this little thing here, which is something you usually use to clean like photography equipment. It just like, it sounds horrible, but it blows the dust away and everything. So I thought I'd just go down the tunnel and do a quick one of those. And before I knew it, the queen and the workers had actually gone down into the nest. They'd obviously been sort of blown down. But that is initially really what I wanted them to do, so it's kind of cool. Um, that was last night. Also, the other day I put new 
sellotape around and sellotape all over this lid to prevent any more escaping. But what I found is because there's not as much ventilation now, um, it's actually got quite humid in there, so we got a lot of condensation. There wasn't actually any in here before, so I was going to show you that, but it is now, which is a pain. Also, I don't know if you can see it really, but there are actually trails all along here, up along the sellotape, so that makes me think an ant may have been along it, which is very annoying. So I've used the Fluon spray, I've used sellotape, I, I heard last year's Nigers are pretty easy to contain, right now I'm struggling a little bit. Also really good news, we now have four workers, so <laughs> the population is steadily growing, but that's four workers, I don't know about the eggs and the larvae because it's very difficult to see them now they're down here but i hope you've enjoyed this update we've been spread over a few days and we are now finally in the fire brick nest so that is all good